Hey there. I'm going to show you this design, a similar design to this today. Using a one stroke technique. Okay. Just to going through what we need first is basically I've created a tip already. This one here. Using the intuitive colour in the Luxio range. I've also used some um, matte on. I need matte on to be able to create the design. So matte on gives me a little bit of a textured surface. Very, very subtle, but enough for the one stroke technique to take effect. And I've used some gel play paint white. I have my one stroke brush. And also a fine line brush. This is the mini. And I've also got a little bit longer brush, the midi. Okay. So to achieve the, the wavy looking design as if it's a, like a curtain in the wind. So I've, what I'm doing here is I've got my white and some clear making it milky so i'm going to kind of outline the design first with my fine line brush mini i'm going to place little dots where i want to do my loops One there and one there so that's the start to finish and this loop will go like this I'll draw it with the white so you can see it better so it goes from there to there and there's the loop From there to there, there's my second loop. Which in actual fact, when you look at it, these will have lines coming up this way. I'm picking up the smallest amount of colour. There'll be another one over here. I'm doing it deliberately a little bit higher. From there to there. And if that's my loop, my line will then be like that and like that. Okay. That's a rough sketch. Then my other loops will be under here going from here to here and just joining under there like that doing another one on this side like that 
if I want to I can do another one on this side just to finish it off but I don't have to with these lines over here I'm going in and out like a wave in and out Actually, it might it'll look even better if I go out and in. Probably something I can work on when I decide to get it all sorted. I'm going to wipe this design off now. And with my my one movement brush, where I've got my clear on on the short end of the brush and the white on the long end I'm going to do an ombre finish which looks like that there we go going to do my upper loops one from there to there just marking them out first so I can get my lower loops first and then I know where I'm heading from to where to where like that and one up here like that that's for the upper loops going up load my brush again and the lower loops are going to go under like that Go over it again. Like that. That was one. And there should be one from here to here. So what we're going to do is go from here. And over like that I'll repeat it give it more depth of color like so What I'm looking for is that it has a nice blend that it's going from dark to light up the up the that little um, semicircle there. I des definitely do not want it to look like there's lines in amongst it. So to eliminate that, I'm getting whilst it's still wet my detail brush. And a little bit of the clear. Oops, there's a fluff. A little bit of the clear with my detail brush, and I'm just blending it away. Like that. The next one. Sorry, there's a fluff in the way. Like 
like that. If you want more stark and more definition, you can go in, pick up some of the white and just blend it with your detail brush. You can even do it on the second coat. So I'll cure that for 30 seconds. One movement brush. Do a blend. You always end up blending into the brush bristles before you do another stroke. And I'm going in, in and around. Pick up colour and do the same on the other loop. Second coat. That's how it looks so far. And cure for 30 seconds. I'm going to reload my um, one stroke brush with some clear and some white. And I'm going to go and do my loops the other way now. Upside down loops. This time I'm going to go from just inside here to here. I've already got the start of this one here, which will end up in here. And as you can see, it's a little bit lower down. The end is there. The start will be here. Okay, let's do that. Picking up some white, blending it in. And I'm going to go holding my brush on the side and down and down. I want to make sure that I have a gradient here. At the moment, it looks streaky and it looks too different, too much of a loop this way. So I'm going to pick up some more of the clear just on the shorter side of my brush, blend it. And define it. like so. Pick up some more cl clear white and doing the other loop upside down and down and define it. Look at that, looks nice. I've got my dot here which I don't like so I'm just going to pull it out and pull it out. If I see my dots where I've marked them of where I want to finish and start, I don't, I like them to be, to disappear. See what I've done here deliberately? I've gone up and created a second um, line. So I don't like that. So what I'm going to do is I've cleaned my brush clean and I'm going to go and just mark it. 
make it not as stark. Like that. The other thing that I don't like about this is that I, it's gone a little bit chubby on this side here. So to define that, I clean my brush and I'm going to go and just wipe it clean with a clean brush. While at the same time, it's giving me a bit of a line. That then I can go over it with the white just to define it. Same on this side, see? Like that. I'm going to go and load my brush with the white and the clear. And do the other loop here. In there. And around. Like that. If you want to define it, you can go and give it longer strokes. See, I always go back. Like that. You can just have white added to your tip. And go around. This one here is a little bit flat. But when you turn it upside down, it doesn't look too bad, see? It's pretty good. Okay, I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds. Whilst it's curing, I'm just going to load my brush with the white, just the white. There's enough clear on, on this little strip to create the ombre look of a stark white to a fade. I'm only going to go and do this on the loops that I just finished to define them. I'm starting off with a, my brush on a 90 degree angle there, turning it down, making it a little bit flatter and gently, gently, gently going across. I've run out of color in there. So I'll go and I'll start back a little bit from where I finished off like that next one it's a bit bigger load some color some white 90 degree into the little corner there and tilt your brush gently 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 creating And up. And the last one again, tilt your brush 90 degrees first to get your mark, and then tilt your brush and there's your C. Before I finish before I cure rather, I've got my mini liner where I'm going to pick up a little bit of the colour in the white and I'm going to go in to this corner here and just define it. And 
this one here I'm going to define it as well it goes down to here and I'm going to taper it in just following the line that I created earlier like that if you feel that your line is too thick just get your detail brush clean no product on it just wipe it away and define it I have a clear a wet lint free wipe clear wash away any product and then you can define the line Remember that this is still wet, so you can still keep working with it until you get it how your mind's eye sees it. Like that. With my detail brush, I went ahead and just took away some of the line that was there because it's still wet, just like here. I can soften this. Like that. Clean the brush and soften this side. Like that. Beautiful. Back with my nice mini fine line brush. I'm just loading it with colour. Pulling it and as I drag it away from the colour, I'm rolling the brush in between my fingers. Now I dip it. And I'm going to go into here and just do a little line and out. It's time to define all the waves in this. Like that. A little bit of colour. Putting it in there. Like that. Doing it to the other side. Just to define it. Over here, we're going to do one line, very fine, so it looks like it's folding into there, and it went really thick. So I'm going to clean my brush, get my fine detail brush, and clean it away it has to be almost like transparent but not so there's a subtle line there for you to actually create the illusion just looking at it on camera I want to define this a little bit more again with my mini liner and I'm going to go into here and define the, the line the edge of that wave
Okay. And in the light she goes for 30 seconds. The idea is that you create the flow. As you can see these lines up here on this one here, it goes curvy like that to give flow as if it's flowing in the wind. There we go. Thank you.